to a soldier, a good soldier, the colors of his regiment are a prized possession. For their honor, he would submit willingly to any sacrifice, and a stain cast upon them would be a stigma upon his own character. They want to speak, and they want their stories to be told. And a part of what we do here with Say the Flags is to try to tell their stories. And, um, you know, they're mute. They're mute as the grave, but they have so many incredible stories to tell. And this particular flag with the 1st Division of the 20th Army Corps was a field of white with a red star. Um, you'll notice even in uh, William's uniform, he has the, the star uh, very prominent on his uniform, marking him as the commander you know, of that division and that Army Corps. This flag in particular would have marked the headquarters for the division and the Corps, so it may not have gone out into actual combat as the regimental flags did, but um, you can see as a testament to it, it's shot full of bullet holes. Um, some of our flags have blood stains on them from the men who had died fighting beneath them. trying to get a monument built at Antietam, honoring Michigan's sacrifice. Williams was there, actually leading men um, at Antietam. And I think a part of it is trying to um, bring to light his important history, too, and, and the role he played at Antietam and then in the later ba battles, too, and campaigns. And it's part of the reason why we chose to display this flag. I've got 240 flags in the collection. You know, any one of them we could have displayed here, but we're really trying to trying to build up support too for you know this important endeavor and trying to you know mark Michigan's role at Antietam. The reason these flags are important because they were important to the men who fought and died beneath them. Um, I don't really think you need a better reason for caring for this collection. They were important to these men who left their childhood homes here in Michigan and fought in four long, horrific years of combat. Um, they gave their lives defending them. They very ceremoniously and very lovingly turned the flags over to the care of the state. Uh, promises were made that they'd be cared for. By caring for this collection, yeah, we're, we're taking care of the battle flags, but to me what's even more important is caring for the memories of these, these brave boys. Mm -hmm.